Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. Only how are my adventures doing? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Fantasia. So, we just finished up Plateau. We have the quest to, tra to transition over to Lake Forest over here. But, first things first, we actually have to go do this. The Deserted Temple Dungeon. First, we gotta go to Skull Reef for our um, quest that is there. You can also go to get there. Or you could just walk over there. I think the great part of this is... Oh yeah. This does take me to the quest I need to do, actually. I thought it didn't. I thought it, it was like one of those things where I just walk in and I have the quest. I think the quest just becomes less and less tedious to go grab. So I think there's only one quest in here. Yeah, this I think that's the only quest I have to grab for this mission. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the wiki just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am. Okay, let's see. Deserted Temple. No, that's the only quest. Okay. So I was right. Alright, so now we head all the way back over to the teleporter and go to Red Ridge. So far, I do like Ranger's new skills, because like I said, some of them you can use up close. I think all of Ranger's skills you can use up close, it's just the earlier like class abilities you can't. Like this one you can't use up close, this one you can't use up close, and that was all from Archer, Archer class instead of uh, Ranger class. Oh. Oh, Red Ridge and uh, Golden Reef share the same song. I didn't realize that. This is what I was talking about last video, that, you know... This area has a banger song. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite song out of the whole game. <laughs> I've been trying a lot of MMOs as of late too on my free time. Like I recently just started Guild Wars 2 again. Trying to get motivated to get into it, but we'll get back into it. But our other side of me is just like the news expansions just kinda like going after the whole What was it, grayscale? Whatever that flying mount is. I'm just sitting here like, dude, I'm too lazy to do that. I can't be asked. Now it's just very hard for me to just commit. I don't even know if I want to buy the new expansion. I was playing, uh... Waven? Or Woven? Waven? Whichever one it is. The whole Doofus developer thing. Or Doofus. I think it's Dofus. They made a new game. I was trying that. That was actually really fun. I'd be. Uh, I'm always like a level behind when it comes to these quests. Yes, I know it's not suitable for me. Not right now. I think I should level before I even touch the boss. Make sure to save your soul. Gotta talk to him. Oh yeah, I recently made it to... Ah. 
They're all sad in this annoying. Should be excited over something. Um, I guess I will continue to bring you up, and we're gonna continue to have you craft gear because, like I said before, I'm going to be far behind on all this now. I mean, it doesn't help that they keep failing events too, so you know that's that's also. A thing I love and look forward to is them telling events. But you know. <laughs> Anywho. I mean, I have a little bit more gold now. Okay, so there is an event where you talk to this NPC. And he gives you coordinates to go to. No. Never talk to that NPC. Oops. Oh, bud. Yeah, we've got a pretty, pretty decent chunk. thinking they're going to drop an item. Uh, oh yeah, I leveled up, so what... Okay, so I still get the same percentage. Nothing went down. Now it's all the way to 69. You push the wrong ability when I do that. Okay, so far so good. Everybody's getting some decent events. That's good to see. I did just get it. Oh my god, you freaking failure. I hate you. Why? Why do you fail out of everybody? Any damaging abilities like this? Oh wait, the trap has HP? To where it lures? I didn't know that. Huh? Whoa, what are you that? Okay, dude, here. That threw me off. I didn't think that you had something to do that with. I was kind of hoping you would have got a stamina event so you can get your stamina back after that failure, but you know. Hey, continue to disappoint your father. Eh, every time, dude. I was kind of waiting for my trap to come back before you guys did that, you jerks. Uh, what skills can I learn? Are there anything I can just learn? Whether it's new or just like there is. 
Okay, just upgrades right now. Just two upgrades. I barely use the trap as of right now. So what changes about it? Duration doesn't change. Oh, the cooldown changes. Nice, I guess. I missed. I missed. Whoops, now I'm so used to that being three. Okay, got that. So it's wherever your character is facing. It's so hard to see in quarters, I'm panicking. Yes, I can. They're a lot better as of right now. And they match. I just need to calm down a little bit. Just get used to fighting with a range class and cores. Miracle bow. Huh? Excuse me. Oh, whoops, my bad. But excuse me? For 30 seconds this movement speed? Oh. So wait, what level is this? Oh, that's... Oh, that's actually not too bad. I can actually craft that pretty easily. But now these guys are on cooldown. Uh, I got some snacks. So I can actually grab that, thankfully. That's actually a nice bow. happy I can upgrade my bow now because that damage is falling off. I mean, the skill of it is pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna need you. Uh, damn, that's all we have to... It's gonna be a while before you even get to that bow and find this stuff. So I guess just grab a lot until we're there. That's the only thing I can say, really. Am I going there? I think I'm going there.
trying to find out what's the best like combo I can just link into. Are you gonna give me this right now, you jerk? Stop. Okay. Oh. Did not know this was a thing. This is awkward. Ah, they canceled it. Annoying. I can actually rely on speed here. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish this attack would slow instead of poison. Attack speed, cast chance, and not cast chance, cast speed. Along with a little bit of treasure drop. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty nice. Takes a while to do. Hard to do as a as a ranger, that's for sure. At least without the damage. Slightly better. I'm learning, at least. I wish I could quick cast, like, AoE abilities instead of, like, targeting them. It'll do, like, a smart thing and put the thing I'm casting against in the center. But I know that's not a thing, and I know that won't be a thing. But, you know, hey. I think of things, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get in the way from that. That's where I need my uh, keys. I'll say, where am I? Ah, cut off my skills. Okay, this one has 
skill cut off. No, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, is he gonna? He's gonna be one of those that spam them, right? What is your chance of doing that? Ah, uh, does not make it even better that it's an AOE? He has a 20% chance of doing it. Uh, he has a stun too? What the fuck? Why is this man made to counter me? Okay, I'm, I'm literally getting basically silenced and stunned. Okay, you know, I didn't want to enjoy the game either, so you know what? Fuck you. Jesus. Rose over here sitting here looking at me like, are you having fun yet? gotten a new assessor in a while. Perfect. Uh, this one can replace this until I find another one. Gemstone, sir. Go up here, so I want to talk to you. Nope. I have to say, my mouse area is a little bit cramped right now. was in the way. Okay. I'm gonna change my camera and go over here a little bit. That actually feels a lot better. I was like trying to place things with like very stiff. Nice. I can't use that, so that's terrible for me. <laughs> uh, wait, did I not click him? Hello? Also, again, why are you running upwards when I pick a range ability? You shouldn't have to run upwards.
don't know why I thought somebody was on the other side of that. I think why it's so great to have Weasel, Weasel Dodge is because since Power Shot doesn't work on bosses, I can have another runaway ability. should be enough enemies in the dungeon. How the hell? For some reason my brain doesn't think about Meteor. And I'm like, oh, close to somebody. Hopefully, we have enough for this. I think we do. Because I've done before where I completely walk past a whole quest inside of here and end up killing all those enemies and having to restart the whole dungeon because I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. Try to click this. Oh, that's why it fills off because it's on my freaking uh, AirPods. are under my keyboard. Well, I shouldn't say AirPods. They're just normal wireless earphones. Or should I say AirPods? I don't know. I don't really know. give me trash. Uh, get rid of that. Hi. I already know how to do those. No, not you. What? I was trying to finish off the mech, you jerk. These guys drop items that I have to use. They respawn also, so. Ex Use the fuck out of me, sir. Gonna move off to this area. Okay. Um. Thirty-seven now. Nani the fuck? Oh, he went up the map. I forgot this. No, he went above the map. Oh, okay. That's a bug. I think I've encountered that one time. But anyway, uh, we got those items. We can use them pretty much right where they respawn.
that. Game? Is it not right here? Get rid of something. These enemies also don't give XP. Okay, something's broken. Because usually you can just straight up use these. Something's broken, for sure. Either that or I have too many things. Okay, no, this quest is broken. So, you can't get that buff. I think that one's actually broken, so we're just gonna ignore that now. We have everything for this quest, we just gotta go kill this boss over here. I'm go back because he never did. I think the fountain kind of stopped him. I think there's a lot of dungeons coming up that I'm not looking forward to doing very soon because I do remember them countering me pretty hard. At least if I don't have the moon speed. I'm gonna say these these next bosses are gonna actually rely on me rely on me strafing. So it's more of a cool ability. I thought the effect was insufficient to the boss.
Okay. Cancelled. Wait. It's so weird to move in this game, dude. I, I guess I'm just used to Guilds of War 2 again, of how their movement is. Not gonna lie, I wish... Uh, man. I'm, I'm spoiled by action camera camera MMOs, that's for sure. That's what I feel like it is. I am very spoiled by, by action camera MMOs. Like, when it comes to, like, just having that reticle and being able to move freely at the same time, you can fuck right off, mate. Like, I didn't even come anywhere near you guys. I thought I'd say hello, die? Go away. I can't even do your quests. Why are you guys even following me out this far? Oh my god, they're gonna be a nuisance. Oh, I can't see shit. Like, the fuck off, mate. Oh my god, I. I... Ah, camera angles, Grand Fantasia. I hate fighting in corridors, man. Yeah, I'm bitching, I'm complaining, you got a problem with it? Anyway. Oh, shit. I did it again. I passed the quest that I was supposed to go back to. Hopefully, I didn't. I don't need a lot of those. Hopefully. Because I might have to restart the dungeon for that. Which means I have to go back through these enemies again either way. Oh, that's annoying. And they're gonna follow me all the way up here. Like I said before, dungeon aggro is very, very long. Getting to the orb. Thank God. Wait, is this the is this the double fish one or is this the one with the giant little jester riding on like something? Don't worry what it is. Shouldn't their aggro should like go off clearly? They probably could still come down, come around that corner. Yep, there they are. Like I said, dungeon aggro. Very, very long. Unless they get stuck. Whoops. Doesn't help that Grand Theta has a weird. Targeting as well. Like, you could be up in this corner trying to target one thing. But whoever has the biggest hitbox kind of wins that. Did you just bounce off the wall? Is that what I just saw? Or was I, like, on the other side of him? I can't use relics, sadly. So those are useless for me. Oh, I should have been using these cool XP boosters. I mean, they gave me... This one will give me, like, a luck one. Like a 
luck charm, but it's not really worth using. It's out of dungeons, honestly, because dungeons don't drop anything you're looking for most of the time. Or well, at least low level dungeons aren't. High level dungeons, that's a, that's a different story. You guys are curious about like the whole treasure drop, that's a chance of them dropping loot. It's not getting extra loot or anything like that. It's literally the chance of them dropping the loot. Any loot on their table. Hell, there's a chance they won't even drop the gray items at all. Wait, why is there a repeat quest in here? Excuse me? Um, I didn't... I did not know that there was a repeat quest to drop in here. <laughs> that threw me off a little bit. Okay. I wish I had a universal, like, slow effect for, uh, enemies, though. And bosses. Unless paralyzing still works. I don't think paralyzing works. Yeah, paralyzing and... Ammo that just nice doesn't work. Ugh, that's so annoying. All I have is escape abilities and I'm at the mercy of, like, a lot of bosses. Hmm. I'll figure it open out. Hopefully I have enough potions for this uh, final boss. I mean, I should. Shouldn't have too much issues with it. I just gotta get used to like my movement here. stuck. You also gotta rem remember another thing if you get into gravitation. It's it's not the same movement as other MMOs. This is like pure traditional. So it all relies on like mostly point and click. But sometimes, like I said before, where you click is not always where your character is going to go. Because you can click in the wrong spots very easily. Or you'll end up clicking on an enemy whose hitbox, like I said, is too... is too big. Okay, so... We gotta go kill this boss before we can actually go inside of the... Soul Crystal. I can sell a lot of these miracle bows. the America bows for like uh, I would only sell the America bows for like uh let's say five to ten gold it really depends on like how much that actually costs to make nah five gold is fine well, actually no you're like level 30 so yeah you should actually be making some decent gold so I'll say eight. 
Yeah, around 38. You should be making some decent amount of gold. Now this is the part where I actually do have to be careful. Because like I said, reflection damage is the thing on this guy. And I think he just cast it. Yeah, this. Now watch how much damage I do to myself when I do this. This is reflection damage. That's how much damage you do to yourself. That was just one attack and it chunked me. Welcome to Grand Potato where you are your worst enemy. Now it wouldn't be bad if every reflection damage was like an actual type advantage. Like this one just physical attack reflection. Later down the road, it gets to where every incoming damage is reflection. So, yeah. Yeah. Is this a freaking report? Yes, it is. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> damn it. I kind of slightly heard him casting it, and I was like, ah, oh, well, not sure if I'll be able to stop that. So I have to either try and waste all my potions to get through it, or how oh, he transforms. So he has 80% more damage now. Did he just recast that? Hold on a second. How? What's your chance of putting it? 20% chance. So he has a chance to keep refreshing it. He doesn't have a cooldown. I hate it, dude. Oh, I hate this. Sometimes I wish enemies in this game had a cooldown so they wouldn't just be able to spam these annoying abilities because some of them can do it twice with the chance system. And it's all RNG based on what they do. It's not like a sick thing. It's all RNG. Sadly, there's no cleansing abilities either in the game. Even though I wish there was. Swords. I don't think I need those that I know of. Don't need that. Can't use that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this to get out of here. So I'm going back to jail after this quest. Now it is the final boss of this dungeon. Honestly, we are making some pretty good time. Without the intro, I would say this took like, oh my god, I have to go and turn in secret and come all the way back. Oh my god, I, they would want the player to walk all the way out of here, then walk all the way back. They don't have like a quick exit either. Oh my god. All that walking? That's at least like five minutes. Can't be asked. Because then I would have to get out, run all the way down, then teleport. Hey, whoa, calm the fuck down. I am almost 38 now. I guess let me sell some of this stuff I already have, then we'll go back into the dungeon. I didn't think we were gonna have to go out and come back in. Oh no, that's green, nobody's gonna buy that.
So I'll go this and three. And now we're gonna go touch off house two. Is that okay for me? No. Sag. That's fair, I guess. I wish I could use, like, these items, too, to train, and it gives me, like, extra XP for training with these. For my sprite, that would be... that would make logical sense, consider, considering that later on, the material from, like, um, scavenging higher-level items can be used. For, uh, training. That's for, like, late game sprite, though. No. <sighs> Just travel sprite thing. Make sure to hold on to that. You don't have to use it right away. I know some players will actually be tempted to use it. I don't know if most players use it right away. It definitely does free you over. If you get rid of anything important here. Because then you're going to have to buy a new sprite. Just to replace whatever you took out. Oh, I can sell these too. Totally forgot about that. Oh, I feel so sluggish. Not am I out of not am I out the dungeon now. What kind of pathing are you taking, brother? Now you guys might hear me bash the game a lot, but it's kind of like, if you don't bash your favorite game, is it really your favorite game? <laughs> That's the real question. Oh, this one's mine. Keep that. Ah, I do need some specialists. Okay. And now that I'm... Oh, wait, I was gonna say... You can teleport back with Song. And walk all the way there again. The only second part is that if you made it there before your buffs expired for this dungeon, you have to walk all the way back. Hopefully you didn't log out during that time too, because this dungeon will reset if you log out. Okay. But yeah, the thing with action targeting is that 
I have like full freedom of moving my character while also staying targeted to on to that person. And your character goes whatever direction your camera's going most of the time. So if I was to, let's say, look this way and go that way, then go that way. But I would have to keep compressing. I can't just, you know, turn it. I have to tap it every time I want to go to a different direction. So I have to get used to that. So, yeah, a few things I have to keep in mind when I, you know, do this. Oh, that was a good stretch. But yeah, I'm almost level 38. So, next episode I'll probably be level 40. And I'll probably get my Panther around that time. Which would be great. Because then I'll have a companion, a buddy to travel with. Probably won't be the strongest, but you know. We have a companion. <laughs> uh, great. The ancient bow. What I need for the sprite bow. Antlers? Antlers shouldn't be too hard to come across. Because they are from this. Uh, fuck off, mate. Can't touch this dude, I'm fast fully. Wait, do they have mana drain? Did I just get mana drained or is this just take forever to like fill up my mana? This one's almost caught up to where the resources for this can be used. This one is caught up actually. So I didn't actually have to do that again. 31 is where we want to get all those at before we started crafting for our better gear. Oh, it's this one. Oh, <laughs> oh I. Isn't this the one that silences instead? Yeah, and it does a lot of damage if I step inside of this little radius thing. Yeah, this was this was more or like magic oriented, but it's this one shouldn't be too bad unless I get slept. So at thirty percent HP is where the issues jump in. Debs also put like a percentage here, I and mean, it makes it useless if we can see the effects they can do if you give us more details. I saw you guys put that in the patch notes, but most of the time we can't tell what percentages are or they're at. Okay, if you can go grab some of the other antlers, that'd be cool, thank you. What a nice guy. Okay, so you finished that one. Now I need you to finish foraging. Okay. So. This does no damage, so that's completely useless. This does. And I can use this automatically. So we're going to open up with this. Into shot. Into this. this. Oh god. Here I am, fucking it up again. It's a, it's a lot to manage when you have to re-tap it.
the camera straightens if I was to hold left click instead of right click. So anytime I use ability facing this way, it would lock my camera back, which I hate tremendously. funny because I can just run around and spam meteor instead too. But I'm pretty sure this would reset the boss if they can't touch me. So I gotta let them touch me at least one time. What's wrong button? I just thought about that. done now and we are fully done with the um, deserted temple now we can get our title and as you can see we, we're starting to get a decent amount of gold for our level uh, if I remember correctly this one has something to do with defense right yeah you get five is five percent defense but negative Three evasion. Not for me. And that's where I'm going to end up. Now I'm going to go and <sighs> craft my next gear. Oh shit, nice. This is terrible for me because I am using bow. This is more for uh, the rifle. Um, Alright. If you guys ever just wanna f if you guys are like farming stuff for the final final bosses, if you plan on like doing gear runs, like dungeon gear runs, holding those keys is the best thing you can do. Like just hogging them. Just to run straight through all of those enemies. Back to the boss. Because once you complete the final quest for that uh, dungeon, you could just zip right past everything. Oh, I actually can't uh, start crafting gear. I gotta go check and see what skills I have available. Meteor got upgraded. Um, Mongoose reflexes got upgraded. Oh wow, I forgot about this ability. Here's hide. Oh, I guess I didn't have points into it, that's why I forgot about it existing. I can't actually like see all the ability and the effect of them. Like right now. Okay, lower penetration and increase normal bow speed or well, attack speed. Eh. Eh. Honestly. That's more good for like a group setting instead of like solo setting. Unless, well, I can't really see the, the stats of any of the mods because I would have to see, like, the actual pin that they have, the little pin resist, pin tracer resist. If I don't know that, I don't know if the skill is, like, useful or not.
Okay, that didn't take a lot of gold. But I will say this, once I get up here, to like level 61, it's gonna start taking a crap ton of gold. <laughs> when I brights out with this, the focus shot is gonna be great for me. Considering I can just spam this ability if I went right. And it automatically cast uh automatically cast this ability. So I'm constantly getting stacks. Oh my god, you fell your quit felling your stuff and collect. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully those items will sell and I will have enough gold to keep going. With that said, uh, yeah, 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 I got a lot of collecting to do. I do have four demos too, right? Yeah. All right. Peace. See ya. Get out of here. Bye. It's a strong